Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. So yeah, the market isn't doing much today. It's a rather boring day. I hope the remainder of the week will be a bit more interesting, but it's always, you know, when you're wondering why the market is so boring, it's typically because we are in a way four. Yeah, most of the time, of course, not always. It's not a very reliable signal, but um, yeah, it often um, it often is the case. So in this video, obviously, we take a look here at this channel. So this corrective price channel of this wave four, we're still in the channel. We are also currently getting into the apex between this ascending channel. You could call it even maybe a ascending wedge, but maybe rather a channel. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't really matter. But we've got a, a channel here, we've got a, a channel here, and it's currently, let's see if we get a bit of a reaction at the moment. We don't really have a, we had a bit of an engulfing candle, but that's it. Um, it's been neutralized basically already. But yeah, I think we're at the moment here about to break that to the downside possibly. Let's see, because we haven't seen any reaction to it. So I would rather say, looks to me, because also this last candle here, the current candle of the current hour, which is going to be over in eight minutes. So you might already know how the hour ended when you watched the video, but it looks to me this is going to break. I mean, it's not an exact trend line, to be honest. I might actually be able to draw that a little bit clearer, but I did want to connect it to that low um, because this is the possible wave four low. And um, typically with these channels, you can connect the wave two and the wave four lows. So yeah, depending on how I draw it, we are now breaking through. Um, it probably doesn't really look impulsive at the moment to the upside, therefore I'd rather say we break the channel, make it irrelevant, or if we connect those two lows down here, then we might get a new low for the fourth wave. Yeah, something like that, where we might hit it here. Let's see, um, it's not entirely clear to me, but that gives more of a parallel channel as well. Um, and then we might really find another low here around the 1592 level or so. But going below 1590 will um, basically invalidate this sort of pattern. I mean, it won't strictly invalidate. You know that a way four can theoretically cut into the price region of, oh, sorry, uh, cannot cut into the price region of the wave one, at least not in an impulse. Now that's at 1565. But again, from experience and in reality, what you typically see is that any wave four that goes below the 50% retracement, which is in this case 1590, just need to adjust that box slightly, 1590, um, it's not normal, it's normally not going to work out. And then we will fall back and it increases the risk that we're going to come down into this box, which is starting at 1500. Key bullish support is remains to be 1370. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, it's, it's sort of hanging there. Um, also no clear indication of what this could be in terms of the wave count. Surely this move up it could be here a leading diagonal already in a wave one to the upside of the wave five. This might be a three wave pullback. But then again, if we make another low, we probably have five waves down. And to be honest, if this is, I just highlight that on the chart, a one, two setup here. Yeah. This is just, this is not confirmed at this stage. Then we really should not go you shouldn't go below 16.06 now. That's the 78.6 FIB. That's where we found support already. Um, I've seen on some exchanges, it actually here, that, that wick went down to, I mean, this is Binance, but this wick went down to 15.85. Now, that's not necessarily too much of a problem. So um, depends on that exchange then, I guess. Um, if we have a wick outside of the box, you know, brief wick down and come up again, that would not be a problem. But a sustained break of 15.90, would make this way for very, very questionable. And it will just increase massively the risk that we will come down into this green support box, which I explained in previous videos. It simply means that the move up was then simply in three waves and we are coming down here. Um, basically that this was then an A wave, a B wave and the C wave to the upside. So basically a large B wave, um, an overshooting B wave. And we're now coming down and make that fourth wave where we then have a chance to turn around here, right? So it's all about, you know, this is at the moment preferred that we will break to the upside. That would be my primary expectation. As long as we're holding 5090, of course, I don't know the future, but as long as we're holding support, we should get that solid fifth wave here into the 1720 region. And if we break below 5090, I have to change my view and we will then most likely get down into that region here of at least 1500 or lower. And that's still the case. Watching here just the sideways action at the moment, the up and down, 
and um, a break out of this corrective price channel to the upside would indicate that we are uh, starting the move in the fifth wave but with the adjusted trend line here it could very well be that we move a little bit sideways until we hit that trend line maybe only tomorrow okay and i can't really update much more on eth i hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content please check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching bye bye